Hello everyone, this is Rigita with Magic Pawn Crafts and I decided to surprise you and uh, to do my all of my projects that I've start, ever started and haven't finished yet, kind of like a whip parade. So grab your drink or grab your stitching and uh, let's look through that. Um, so I have all my notes, I have all my projects laying like all around me, so we'll see how fast or we can get through them so ever done um, of them so according to my list the very oldest I have it was a free pamphlet um, it's called home for the holidays it was DMC leaflet by Stony Creek and uh, I'm stitching on 32 count antique uh, white linen and I've had it lost for a long time, the pattern, and um, then I found it and now again somewhere disappeared. So it's not my favorite piece. I think that's why I was also kind of not putting aside looking for the pattern, but I figured maybe um, sometime next year I'm slowly gonna be stitching like 100 stitches a day or 50 a day and uh, finish it because it is kind of cute. I can't even find the pamphlet but the main picture is gonna be like that maybe I should like stay in here so as you can see kind of it's a house with some greeneries around there is lots of uh, like a crinic uh, sparkle all throughout the windows it's gonna be several colors in here and the silver and the gold and there's a mailbox that uh, is gonna have um, like a, you can put the name in it so there's a little bit still work to be done to this but um, the pattern is 99 by 116 wide so that's what it looks like and um, we'll see when I can finish it it's not in a big hurry as I said because it's not like my favorite piece but it's still kind of cute uh, when I remember and I pull her out uh, I keep wanting to find <laughs> find a pattern somewhere as a pamphlet, uh, but if I can't find it, which I'm sure it's not gonna happen, it's never happened to me before. Um, but uh, we'll see, we'll see how it uh, goes. So that was my very first one. Then to my list, I have a 2017 uh, mystery sampler by Linen and Threads, and I don't have like a full picture. Uh, it's a free pattern on their website. They do uh, free styles every year. There was a peacock, I think this, or was last year. It um, it was different, like a shapes, Quakers kind of style. So I'm doing 2017, and uh, somehow this year I was having trouble to uh, loading up those parts. Uh, each month you would get a separate part. So I started this one in February 17 of 2017 and um, last year I didn't stitch much and uh, by this year it was only June part started. I'm using, um, let's see, four, four different thread colors and I'm doing um, this like um, over one. And, um, and 32 count cream linen one over one so it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a small but intense um, pattern and uh, I can show you um, I'll pause it and I'll, sh I'll open it and show you what it looks like as far as right now and this is what it looks like right now so as you can see um, that's what it looks and right now I'm doing doing a July part so um, this month I've decided to stitch like kinda like a daily hundred stitches or so if I stitch one time 150 then I might skip another day depends how deeply I want to stitch something else that is in my uh, rotation so I have one uh, DMC uh, what is it 4211 uh, thread so uh, this is um, kind of this ever-changing uh, color of uh, different types of reds and uh, purplish I have more purple and two different colors of uh, like a burgundy and reddish so 
So this is what it looks like um, 1 over 1 and 32 count. It's uh, very tiny, but I think it looks very delicate and uh, it's going to look great uh, when it's done. I'm picking which pa pattern parts I want to do with uh, which ki kind of thread. So like right now, I've decided to just um, do uh, those eagles, which I imagine are the eagles, in a variation color. Um, I don't know how well you can see the different ones so like that and um, it's it's coming back to me the the love of that um, it's it's not that hard to do so it relaxation actually so the next one is called the uh, summer ball and it's a uh, pattern by Sa uh, Sandy Little Johns and um, I've started this on uh, May 16 of 2017, so we still have a 2017 uh, starters. But this one is a bit bigger. Um, it, it's 478 by 128 uh, pattern. So this is what it looks like. And I had it uh, out of magazine, make, uh, made a copy. So um, if you like these type of sceneries, she has a couple more uh, of different types of eras um, times of the world like um, this kind of remind me of uh, Pride and Prejudice and I think wasn't it in 2017 that School of Magical Stitches and Literature had uh, we had uh, Pride and Prejudice theme maybe but anyway this is what it's gonna look like so it's a long um, and skinny scenery of a bowl uh, of um, cream de la cream maybe or or different town that's more richer people probably or <laughs> at least from what I imagine from that period of time um, and uh, let's see I have it uh, on, uh, on my I have a couple programs it's a pattern keeper and uh, crossfish saga um, they they use two different uh, kind of calculations and uh, this one I've done so far 71.8 percent so I'll show you what it looks like as right now. Um, uh, did I say what I'm stitching on? 32 count ivory Lugana, and it's two over one except um, except the skin. I decided to do the skin one over one full cross, and um, it has also back stitching and um, the black the 310 thread. Since it's a little bit thinner than uh, all other color threads, I'm using three of them. So it's also still in a Q snap. I started this in uh, in May uh, during Stitch Mania, and ta -da -da -da. this is what it looks like right now. So to start like the scenery, uh, it this piece kind of makes me always laugh. It looks like a little ghost, which is a candle. So that's what the whole piece looks like. It um, it fits in my Q snap frame, and I just finished uh, stitching it. Uh, like for three days so I added um, these like three ladies here and uh, there's gonna be uh, some back stitching involved uh, once I finish like a part I try to go uh, back stitch it so I don't have to kind of come back to it um, but it's fun to stitch some areas like you know like uh, walls uh, it's pretty big chunks of color which is kind of nice it's not that bad of a confetti uh, the girls hair usually have some kind of things happening so it's a little bit more confetti ish in there but like this dress didn't have uh, a lot of different colors and um, yeah so uh, so that's what it looks like and uh, there's no plans to finish at a specific point of, um, of time so we'll see um, when I decide to stitch on that more, I'll stitch on that more. Uh, since I have so many different projects, right? So that was Summer Ball. The next would be um, in starting 2018. So we're next year, kind of. Um, our big project is George. And um, there's a Facebook group, there's an internet page uh, created for this project. Uh, it's uh, many of us uh, stitching one picture and we got uh, one piece of each and the project was supposed to be for five years. 
So we got uh, our slices of pattern and the fabric and threads um, and we had to stitch. So this, if you don't know the, the famous painting, uh, George Washington crossing uh, Delaware River. And uh, I was very excited uh, to get in <laughs> in the group. Had to, in the beginning, uh, sit in the waiting list and somebody, um, before we started, somebody just uh, couldn't um, do it. Uh, so they dropped out and I was able to get in. So my piece actually, it's very corner of that, uh, it's like a little, little bit of chunk. So in the darkness, seems like uh, on the top and I might get a tiny bit of more bluish color. So we're stitching that on uh, 18 count, um, Ada so yeah it's 18 count uh, we started May 22nd 2018 that's when it's actually uh, George Washington's birthday is the my pattern piece is 396 by 549 so it's not small and um, it's fairly boring but uh, I'm trying to right now to st stitch when I can uh, intensely like about the five days a month and uh, uh, my monthly quote uh, minimum to make it in the five years is about uh, about 3,600 stitches. So uh, as of right now, I have um, stitched total, uh, pattern keeper says 57.34% only. So we're just past, um, in August, just past the uh, half mark of, uh, of this project. So I'm on the page, 54 I believe so it's like uh, almost 10 pages uh, width and um, almost 10 pages um, height uh, becomes so it's pretty much just something like this <laughs> it's just a bluish and uh, grayish colors so kind of nothing in very interesting uh, there's uh, several people that start asking uh, what I use uh, what are these things so it's just a plain uh, kumihimo um, uh, oh, bobbins, what do you call them? I got them at uh, Hobby Lobby. Uh, they come in a pack of eight, so it's maybe about, uh, I think, a dollar a piece. Uh, but if you can use a coupon, it's cheaper. And on Amazon, you can get uh, different sizing too. So it's, it's very uh, comfortable. It lays flat against. And uh, since we cannot uh, stitch and I don't like to stitch um, in exact pages, so I like to either uh, stitch, um, spread out my stitches until I finish the thread, or if I need to, trying to do like by page, um, trying to leave um, hanging threads, uh, so to speak, so par doing parking, um, more professionally <laughs> stitching world, say. So I decided to keep on these and um, and that's what it is so slowly by slowly this is the middle part uh, I had marked with my thread uh, so it's the, the width middle part so I'm almost to, to that and yeah so it's um, it's stretched on my omanic uh, frames and uh, just le setting it aside and uh, stitching uh, little by little each month whenever I can and um, as you can see, there is nothing like specific that pops out in this. No figures, no humans, no cats or flowers. So it helps if you if I put down uh, put on uh, like a Facebook uh, video or some some kind of music uh, or anything to sort of listen and watch uh, while stitching this. So it really helps uh, to pass the time. So that's my biggie. And I got uh, this frame size exactly specifically for uh, this project. Um, guys in my family really like history so I was very happy to uh, become part of that historical giant uh, picture stitching so that was my George next would be another freebie uh, it's by books Brooks uh, you can find it on her website she has many different types of uh, freebie patterns but this one is uh, called a stitches alphabet so it's uh, each letter um, is uh, different something connected with the stitching world and um, I started this in uh, May 14th again stitch mania piece in 2018 um, and uh, my fabric I picked is 28 count uh, Witcher Lambswool Joblin 
So each block is like a 31 by 36, and it involves uh, crinic, it uh, involves um, beads, different uh, beads, and uh, it looks very fun, um, very slow, and like after J stitching George, this is a uh, big relaxation because you can finish a little, little letter piece, and uh, it's like, wow, I already got finished, something different, totally different colors. And um, I've done um, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and the partial H. So I'm just keeping it on my uh, Q snap. And uh, this is what it is. Uh, that's H. So kind of can see some of the crinic, um, like C. Um, it has all uh, six threads in it, um, some beading. Um, so yeah, it's. It's cute, it's something relaxing, and I do that slowly too. Um, nothing like specific that I have a deadline for, um, because I want to proceed more with the bigger projects, so this is, would be like a relaxation after confetti places. So that's what it is. Um, so again, uh, you can find it online, it's by Books Brooks, um, Stitches Alphabet. And this year I had uh, F almost done, so um, that's how it's working. Then in a row, uh, it's something that I haven't touched this year, and um, I started that on May 31st, 2018, and I don't think I even touched it last year. So it was something just tiny, tiny um, uh, start uh, to do during Stitch Mania, and it's something totally different. Um, Let's see where um, I have it on my list there. Um, I have it on 18 count brown canvas. And uh, I'll show you perhaps a picture, better picture um, of the pattern. Uh, and it's called, um, company called Modern Twist Embroidery. And it's a gardens of uh, Semirani. So it would um, turn out to look something like this. So it's a canvas piece, a specialty stitches, um, no, no exactly like a cross stitch piece, so it's something different. And um, I have not done piece like this, I believe, ever before. So I wanted to try, and uh, you can kind of see that's involving uh, color variations and the beads. Of course, we can change colors, uh, like she says. Um, we can change colors and um, make it our own, but I wanted to try it with hers. Um, and <laughs> you're gonna see how much I've done. Pattern is 87 by 87. So ta-da, you see that? Or uh, let's see, where was my top? Oh, I marked the top so I would know. <laughs> so very, very middle part, and you can see it's shiny because it's a satin stitch. So it's just, um, it was kind of hard to figure out uh, how to attach it because I didn't want to stretching anywhere. So, and it, the satin thread is kind of slippery thread, but um, that's all I <laughs> have started in 2018. I think for that, maybe it was, you know, 15 minutes or something. So it's practically no start. And I have it uh, stretch on um, these stretcher bars um, that are, 14 by 16, I believe, in here. So that's the start. <laughs> but I figured I, I want to include all of my starts that I haven't finished um, to you guys. So that's that. Next, um, next we would have um, ink circles uh, called 99. I'm stitching that as a gift to my kid. And um, i um, stitching on a suggested 32 count ale by Picture This Plus. And now we're starting, let's see, uh, 2019. So there were a couple from 2017, several from 2018, and it's last year's 2019 start. I started on the very first day, actually, I think I, right after the midnight uh, sounded. And um, I'm hoping to finish it this year. Uh, it was not my goal to finish. But um, since I got in in it uh, so well, um, just figured out I don't have a lot of let. Uh, according to my um, 
program I have 91.8% done so maybe like three days uh, of good stitching and I would be done so I'm hoping by the end of the year I'll finish it so let's see if you have never seen it that's what the whole pattern is gonna look like and uh, I have some ideas how to FFO it so it's like a nine shelves with 11 different bottles and the list of uh, all those drinks are also uh, comes with the pattern so if you wanted to collect those same bottles you can and it's also relaxation uh, after I stitch some baths because each bottle is like a mini finish there's no back stitching there's no quarter stitches um, you know ha no half stitches nothing hard just plain excess it's just Sometimes it would get like one stitch in the area of one color, so, but that's not bad. So um, it's just like a repetition of bottles and I have it my ninth um, row already started. The eighth still needs a shelf to put in and that's gonna be shelf two. So as you can see, not much left. Um, so it's very easy enjoying uh, stitching, um, small little X's, and that's it you know so it's fun love it very relaxing so i would suggest that to, to stitch too and again it's called 99 bottles of beer on the wall then in a row we have something big um i started um on a february 22nd <laughs> of uh, last year sort of like a george but uh, one year later and I stitched for a while and somehow I set it aside and then I really picked up uh, this year uh, after a while too and uh, that was uh, I, I uh, custom requested this pattern um, by a lady a Lithuanian lady uh, her company is called Adastra she makes uh, some patterns too and um, I don't think I have a better picture anywhere uh, right now but I fell in love with this um, painting from like uh, what was it I don't remember um, 16 something or 15 something um, and it, the picture itself the whole scenery kind of drew my eye to it and I fell in love and I asked her to uh, create a pattern for me from this painting so it's called uh, Spoiled Child sorry for the light <laughs> and um, of course like this air, whole area is gonna be just the boring um, you know boring blob again in this special area of the wall um, nothing very interesting but once we get to the people I think it's really gonna be interesting to stitch uh, all those faces and uh, there's lots of action happening in there you know the she's she's there I guess trying to laugh maybe or scold while he's trying to give a dog something to lick <laughs> you know so it's it's very homey scene all kinds of things in there and um, for that I uh, I decided to pick 18 count fabric Ada uh, pattern is 450 by 514 so it's also not um, not very small and uh, maybe that's why I picked the uh, 18 count. So I have an amonic uh, frame, um, except I, don't, I didn't have a size. And uh, I really picked up uh, this year once I got uh, my crossish saga pattern uh, reader. Um, and, and it kind of started picking up faster. So I, I uh, sewed up the fabric so I made it like little pockets so it would be very easy if I wanted to switch uh, this horizontal frame for uh, something else uh, I can do that and uh, this is how much I've done so as you can see it's not a lot so it's uh, lots of different blends uh, including and it's just something like sitting on a shelf little I don't know what is it statue little bowl in there right next to it so um, so that would be like all that area like up to maybe here you know like just reaching the the shelf top so I what do you guys think is that like a little I don't know what it is something to me it, at, at first it looked like a statue but I don't think it would have been some kind of wooden statue 
So I'm just going in a row. So once I reach half mark, then I'm going to see some kind of a other action happening besides like this uh, blob wall. So I have a George same way and right now I have a spoiled child the same way. So it's, it's pretty boring in there. But um, um, for this size pattern, uh, I have 2.72% only stitch. So it's going to be quite a few years um, if I have more work to do, more BAPs uh, to, to get this in rotation, but I don't want to set it aside because every time I look at the picture, I uh, just fall in love with it. So that was my spoiled child. Then after that, um, in a row, uh, again, I picked up something big, uh, something uh, I have not tried before, and it's a Chatelaine. Uh, it's called the Baltic Sea Mandala and uh, because I was born by exactly by the Baltic Sea actually in the seaport so this is what it looks like um, at least uh, if it's stitched like that I'm using all original uh, threads that I got uh, as a kit uh, all the beads and uh, silks um, from ah, I know the I know the name uh, European Cross Stitch Company, I believe, and uh, I picked a different uh, fabric. I debated between uh, getting something darker and uh, something lighter. Uh, I had some viewers um, suggest uh, which one better, and uh, thank you for those suggestions. And I love the sea, I love the water. Although I'm not very good sm swimmer, <laughs> but. Uh, but I love the sit by it and listen. Uh, the fabric I picked, uh, it's 32 count Ariel, picture this plus Lugana. And uh, all I've done, I started on the March 10th of 2019, and all I've done is the very middle, I don't think you can see all the beauty of the colors, very middle in, uh, in Mandala. So it's very tiny, it has uh, some, uh, crying in there already and uh, so some silk threads that I try to kind of like a match um, that variation would be the same way starting in each side and compared to the picture it's very very middle part of that uh, I did not put any beads or anything like that but um, I don't know how many hours it had total but uh, yeah so that's my mandala, and uh, I had it used on my biggest piece of uh, money frames and just didn't want to go back and forth, back and forth. I think that's why I want to finish, get closer at least to the finish of my um, George, and then put this on it and start working more. So that was another big piece. Uh, then it will be something small, um, and uh, it's on my plans to finish this year. It's by Blackberry Lane Designs. It's called Mr. Bear and One Bat. It's a needle minder. It's gonna be cutie, and uh, it's a, f a stitched front and back, and then you stuff it with things, make a belly, and uh, fold over with a little magnet. Um, so it's a, it, it involves tiny bit of the back stitching, like around the, like, a ears and face kind of thing and it has one button in the middle and I'm all done with uh, the, the front part so I'm just gonna show you what's left yeah. kind of stretching out I'm using my Q-snap because I'm gonna work on that very very soon maybe today or tomorrow so this is the back part so the body is almost done and I already started the one wing here, uh, stretch a little bit another side and it's going to be scattered uh, wings like you can a little bit see here. So just the back part to finish and uh, that would be done. Um, and I'm stitching this, let's see, some kind of picture this plus I believe. Um, let's see where I have all my little ones listed. I've started this uh, guy in uh, April 1st in 2019. <sighs> okay, where is it? When did I start? Hold on a sec. 
Okay, um, so uh, it's a 36 count haunted Edinburgh linen. Um, so it's it's gonna be pretty small. I'm stitching uh, two over two, and uh, it needs a good light uh, to stitch. Although uh, all my work is fairly close to my face, so I don't have to like s squint uh, to see something like that. As long as there is a light uh, shining from behind, um, I don't have a problem because there's dark colors on on the guy and um, dark color of the fabric but it's fun it's medium grayish uh, spotted fabric as you can see so let's see if we can finish by the end of the year right as my plans were so that's that next i have uh it's dimensions kit if you know i love the dimensions or dimensions depends where you live uh to pronounce and it's called the uh, Milady Chateau. I was hunting this pattern uh, for a while all over the internet and uh, at an eBay and the Facebook uh, because it's out of uh, one of the out of print patterns or kits, I should say. Um, some dimensions I have uh, as a kit, some things they have as uh, like a pamphlets that you can have. So uh, the scenery, it was also again like a Pride and Prejudice uh, kind of type thing. And uh, if you know anything about that dimension skits, especially gold collection, it, it brings dimension in, um, in your work because um, some threads you have only one and you might even stitch as a half stitch. You have a back stitches, you have uh, two threads full, two threads half, you can have a three threads or and some things up to even five, I believe, if you do like a half stitch and stuff. So uh, all of that put together, it really brings the dimensional look to it. Um, like uh, things in the background would be in the half stitch and uh, a front uh, full stitch. So it's really that's like th becomes 3D. So that's what uh, the scenery looks like. And uh, I've started this on May 5th, 2019, again, uh, Stitch Mania, which uh, I'm sure it's gonna be for next year's Stitch Mania to continue. And I'm, I've stitched 43.6% so far on this one. And I'm stitching on a uh, given fabric that came. Uh, it's a 14 count Ivory Ada. Um, let's see what else I can tell you about this before I show it to you. Um, probably nothing. <laughs> nothing much. Um, yeah, so 1% um, it might be like around 301 stitches. I'm not sure. So I just loosened up and it's sitting in my Q-snap so I can grab it anytime I want. And uh, usually I start from the top left corner of all my pieces if I can. And once I stitch, and again, I did uh, some, um, some back stitching already done. So I'm kind of like moving to the side. Part, part of the sky is unstitched. And uh, you can see there is a girl showing up already. And uh, there's going to be the, the chateau in here and a bunch of greeneries and the flowers flowers are more confetti kind of like because you have you have a half stitch um you have a full stitches and uh, like a flowers are scattered um throughout in different colors so that's what it looks like so it's this fabric is fairly soft as the ada um what else to say Nothing. It's just I love it. Um, I think you know my husband complimented on that. E uh, even though he doesn't care what I stitch, as long as it brings me happiness. But he said that's kind of cute. Uh, that's kind of nice um, scenery. So so yeah. So you can really see the the houses and the river um, stretching out in there, or maybe it's a pond or something like that. Yeah. So that's Milady Chateau. Next in my row would be, in my list, it would be um, individual pattern um, by Russian designer, uh, Sero, I think Ekaterina Serogina. It's called uh, Christmas Wreath. I started it May 6, 2019. And uh, that's what it's supposed to look like. 
So uh, if you know anything also about uh, like Russian Ukrainian designers, uh, you'll find again sort of like the dimensions. You'll find half stitches. You'll find blends. Uh, all the back stitching also done. Uh, so it's all kinds of things and that would look more realistic. So. I had it set aside I think last year for a tiny bit um, after I, I started stitching and kind of picked it up fairly quickly um, because uh, those designers uh, can provide the Saga version um, and it's I like it more than uh, Pattern Keeper. Um, yeah, so you see all those backstitching. It's pretty much everything is going to be backstitched, um, but uh, I love it. And uh, as of right now, Let's see, I have it on my list. Um, it's 42.3% done. And again, I've decided to do the back stitching um, as I stitch along, so I don't have to work on it. And it's not an acute snap, surprisingly. Uh, the fabric is um, 32 count antique white Lugana. So I'm stitching, uh, of course, two over two. And uh, Total stitch count, I believe, is going to be, um, let's see, 1% is 198, so calculate yourselves. So this is what it looks like right now. So I think it's uh, it looks exactly like a picture. Um, the colors are beautiful, uh, very, uh, like, not a bright, but not too muted. Um, and you can see like uh, the branch, some of the branches, they have um, the sun. They have a half stitch going with one thread and then morphs into more and then you attach the back stitching so it really looks realistic. And I hope this, I'm using my computer camera so I'm hoping it's clarity of the video will be great. So maybe I can uh, finish next by next year, end of the next year, we'll see. Yeah, so it's it's good. I don't think I can finish by this Christmas, but hopefully by next Christmas I'll have it done. Um, then on my list, Whew. something much smaller, and I think the smaller the the pattern is, the longer it takes me to stitch it because I don't want to just go through the, all those small ones and uh, abandon my big ones. So. The small one would be Heart Sampler Scissor Spool um, by Designs by Julie. And it's, you know, it's very little that um, needs to be done. I got it as a kit of one of the Needlework Galleries. So this is what it should look like finished. So you, uh, it included the unfinished wooden spool. Um, like you can see right here, um, the fabric, the threads, uh, all that needed. The scissors are not included, but it's like mini scissor fob thing. Um, and what's interesting that uh, this piece, you have to stitch such a way that it's going to be fold over. So that's the part I need to finish uh, figuring out. So I'm stitching on included uh, fabric, which might be a 32 count. So what I've stitched is the main part and then I have to something calculate uh, because you have to stitch on the um, other, other side so when it's fold, gonna be folded over so it looks exactly. So that's what um, it's gonna look. I haven't started on the fob yet. And uh, the spool, I can show you a spool side. Of course, as you can see from a fabric spool, it's pretty big. And uh, that's the size, it's unfinished. Um, I don't know which color I wanna stain it because I will stain it and uh, the hole for a scissors. And it has a little, um, this uh, weight, which I guess it would be for the, um, probably scissors uh, fob made. I haven't uh, checked out fully, but all of that included and um, needles, everything is in there. So just stitch and be done. But um, yeah, I, I just need to sit down and figure out how to to do um, to do folding over calculations. Um, and it involves a satin stitch and just like a back stitching and plain regular excess. 
So yeah, I might, if I sit down with it, I might finish it this year. Um, but like I said, the smaller the project is, the longer it takes me to do it. Um, so yeah. Next, it would be something, again, different than cross-stitch. Um, it's actually mostly half-stitches and some back-stitching. And it's uh, by Mary Maxim, a kit called Dracula Tissue Box. I wanted to try something different. And I was um, confused at first when I uh, opened up the package and uh, later um, kind of dawned on me that uh, the color probably here um, changed maybe from my ink print or I don't know what because this is not the color I was looking for. <laughs> I started this um, on the May 22nd, 2019, so it's another mania. As you can see, I have, still have quite a few mania projects left from last year. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, uh, <clears throat> all, um, all is being stitched on seven count uh, mesh canvas, plastic canvas. <coughs> and um, it has acrylic yarn all the stuff instructions it took me a little bit to figure out how to cut out the canvas because it's you cut it slightly differently you can't calculate the holes than the regular uh, cross stitch fabric so I'll show you what I mean by little surprise um, because the, the thread colors were different than what was on the picture so this is the the yarn uh, that was given and this brownish color it's what it's apparently supposed to look like so I don't think you can um, you can tell that it's the same color right there's no way so yeah so if you have to cut out pieces out of um, big sheet or a couple of sheets and uh, head is going to be separate, um, the bat is going to be separate, you have to cut out the hole in the middle, so it involves a little bit of um, thinking to do and calculations, because once you cut out, you don't want to stitch it and then figure out, oops, I missed by one um, one hole kind of thing, right? Uh, because then you have to put it all together and it's got to mount on a tissue box, so you have to be precise for that, you cannot make it smaller. So what I've done so far, one full side, so this is the top, that's where Dracula's head is going to be sitting down. So it's very easy, mindless kind of um, stitching uh, with the giant needle um, that you go by half, and I think that's it. So it came as the kit, and instructions, sort of like a markings, a um, little bit confusing, so it's you have to separate your own uh, yarn. Black, it's easy to separate, but some of the grays, it took me a while to figure out why I don't see the brownish kind of color or khaki color that's supposed to be there. So that's what I have for this piece. Let's put it aside. Also, not in a huge hurry, but I wanted something to have Halloweenish for that, and that's what it is. Then again, something a little bit smaller, um, also something different. Uh, it would be, um, I got it from um, AliExpress, China. Uh, it's uh, sort of like a knockoff of Dimensions kit, which is long, has been not in the production and uh, kits. I just recently looked if you want to find an eBay, pretty much minimum 100 and I've seen somebody selling for over $200 for a kit. So, yeah, <laughs> so I wanted to try out to see how different it would be uh, compared to uh, um, AliExpress. And uh, I started this on the May 25th, 2019, so another um, Stitch Mania piece. And that's what they sort of should look like. Uh, it's a six different ornaments that you put together back in front and uh, I'm gonna do the 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 backs with a different fabric uh, than what's uh, uh, suggested and given and um, this year I wanted to finish two of them 
and I already finished one and uh, just started recently second ones which uh, I think one more like time maybe three days or four days and I would be done so where did I put them uh, I need to find it I thought I had it all right I found it so I decided to, to cut in individual sizes of the fabric because it was like a longer uh, meant for front and back so but I, like I said I just uh, gonna use it for front and I put it again on the stretcher bars and um, See, that's a, that's a, so that's what it looks like right now um, I was trying to compare to original like a picture of dimensions kit so I did a few changes on uh, this pattern and uh, I used a couple blends um, so it would be like a transitional part between two different colors although I think this middle part could have been a little bit uh, darker uh, as the threads but uh, that's what the line's supposed to really shine like I, you can do comparison side by side Ooh. so I, I'm sure you can figure out which one that is it's uh, this one at the very edge with the candle so not much left to do finish the, the bottom round uh, the, the middle uh, with a little bit greenery and you can kind of tell that it's a sabot and in here and then it's gonna be again like a uh, cording and the uh, beads um, and uh, what else in there um, some kind of just like a crinic type of golden thread you can kind of a little bit see in there yeah so I'm sure I can finish it um, in another go uh, once another sitting um, during my rotation so I have a couple months so um, I, I'm sure I can finish this off and then going to be four more left maybe two a year would be good I don't want to overdo it with those ornaments actually one um, one whip I skipped which is uh, after Dracula I guess I got so excited about the Dracula because it's one of my favorite char characters um, in um, history and the fictional stories um, created I think I've seen every movie possible, uh, all the productions, and um, read all the books. That's anything uh, connected with that. I watch documentaries about uh, about him and uh, all the other stories. So uh, after that, it was uh, Dragon. <laughs> I was born in Dragon years, so it's again something that I like. Um, so it's a pillow. It's a very cute. Um, I know somebody uh, saw what a, I don't know. It's a girl or a boy. What do you think? Is that a girl dragon or a boy dragon? I can't decide. Sometimes I think it's a girl because so she's so cute, right? Sometimes it's a boy because he's so cute. <laughs> so somebody saw it and really um, wanted it uh, and and went and got it and started stitching. So I'm excited to influence somebody because it is very cute. Uh, it's very relaxing. Um, it's uh, being stitched on uh, on the 11 count, I believe. Uh, let's see. Finish size is going to be like 15 and a quarter by 17 and a quarter. Um, so uh, it's by company Pana. They have all kinds of different pillow pillows with the different characters. I have another one with the different cat, not the, this one. So it's something like with the kitchen and all kinds of things so wanted to test the dragon first and I'm not disappointed the colors um, are exactly as it is on uh, on this uh, photo uh, very nice very bright very easy to stitch although it's with the four threads but um, but it's very easy to stitch that's all I can say uh, and uh, I've stitched um, as of right now I have it almost half point so it's 45.9 percent and as, as I said I started May 22nd 2019 which is the same day as my um, Dracula so that's what it looks like uh, I think all the colors that you see are a little bit more bland than what it is in the real life but uh, I just put in a huge um, big Q-snap and uh, 
enjoying to stitch it as you can see all the colors that I actually I love I love a turquoise and I love a purple so it's just my uh, my guy or a girl <laughs> yeah so that's how much it is as of right now so it's all of that kind of pretty much done and I started to go in the wing and if I really want it I could finish it next year um, like I said it's it's very relaxing to stitch it's with the four threads <sighs> I love it and of course later on will be the hard work is gonna be putting it all together there is no backing uh, given uh, because people for pillows uh, usually like to have their own uh, backing fabrics uh, so it's just the front that's given uh, a little bit tougher uh, on the edges um, to stitch but overall it's very soft uh, like a uh, Ada fabric in here so that's my dragon my lovely dragon okay so then it was my um, timeless uh, ornaments and then we go to another kit uh, it was my first time I believe stitching Luca S kit and uh, I had it sitting as sitting aside uh, for a while. It's called Etude with Strawberries. And it's a uh, Zweigert fabric with anchor threads. Um, let's see, it's an 18 count Ada fabric. Um, and the picture is looking like this. So it's uh, just a bunch of uh, like um, strawberries with the itty bitty snail. There's very similar strawberries with uh, some kind of insect flying and like at this area, but um, <sighs> yeah, it's uh, the pattern. Uh, what I think stopped me from stitching more on that is the pattern was on um, even though it's a big, big print uh, on a different uh, like uh, sheets and uh, I don't know why it just wasn't very easy to work for me uh, at that time but I've decided to stitch again from the very middle I found the middle um, and um, just decided to put on my um, uh, not the oh, geez. <laughs> not the Q snaps this time um, I can't remember which which one of these uh, that I got the round ones I can't even remember what it's called <laughs> but anyway this is how much it is it's uh, very small it's 15.3 percent I believe um, it's it's a lot of um, like different mixes of colors uh, right away in the same area and uh, I think that's what was getting me confused um, so I decided just kind of try to fill in more in one area before spreading out so like this whole top part is uh, done and uh, then I was going more in the bottom so it's very middle you can kind of tell uh, the top the top little bud that hasn't had the, the flower yet it's in there so I'm hoping to finish it within the next uh, couple of years so we'll see then next um, another very small uh, kit that I got a uh, first time to try to and again it's gonna take me forever probably uh, it came as a whole kit um, it's by Riolis company uh, uh, and it's a little Easter egg they have all kinds of Easter eggs um, like this kit I know some of the other stitchers uh, tried it and done so like uh, they have uh, with this kind of flower and it comes like a little box with everything that you need to do including uh, fabric uh, let's see did I write down what it all included I have my list I already started planning for uh, next year so we'll see how it goes is my tiny tiny thing I probably don't have it I know I started on May 31st 2019 and uh, it has to be stitched over one over one and I believe it's 20 uh, this is 25 count cream so not a lot stitched and I think that's the top so ta-da 
So you kind of have to stitch the band. You can't even tell what it is, right? It's, um, when you look at the picture, you have to stitch the, uh, holding. You have to stitch the band part, um, finish up, because it's gonna have some uh, beads and uh, with the golden thread, um, like a back stitching, and then it's gonna be a fun part with the beads to uh, go around the wooden egg. It has a wooden egg um, in it, in the kit. So, <coughs> so this is my part of the band. I kind of just went with one color and just started going uh, all the way across. So that's pretty much how wide it is. And it's gonna be finished and like that and it's gonna be go around so no big hurry to do this because it's a small and but the colors are very nice very bright actually I had them all sorted out on um, on my sorter and you can see how beautiful colors they are really bright and summery kind of and a little bit of a gold yeah, so it's nine colors and uh, plus gold for all those back stitching and uh, needle everything was included so just grab stitch finish up right um, yeah the the beads are uh, in a separate bags different ones like a, like a green color and it has beading needle and you can see there's much more of the white and all of this like a golden one so yeah so the whole kit is like that don't know wanna, when I'll finish it but I don't care then uh, let's see then we go in June uh, 22nd I don't know why the number 22nd keeps showing up I wasn't doing that on purpose I swear <laughs> so last year uh, I started this Shakespeare's Peddler um, by Therese, Theresa, Theresa, <laughs> yeah, I met her, uh, she has also her own uh, YouTube channel, um, so um, I think that was her favorite uh, pattern before also, so that's my very first, um, like a sampler uh, pattern, so I wanted to try, it's Adam and Eve sampler, and that's what it's supposed to look like, and, uh, and of course it's going to be big, Let's see, what did I write on that? Um, I decided to stitch on 40 count fog by Picture This Plus. So, like especially uh, letters, um, when you have to stitch ov over one, whew, that's fun. So I found the middle part, which hits actually on the, the sink in the middle part. The capital letters are over two and the the words, the rest of the words are over one, so it's very delicate uh, looking um, a, a whole thing and I love it, I love the look, I love the, how it goes with one thread, um, it's very very dainty things, even though uh, in some places you think it would show up easily because you stitch over two, all of these, except letters are over one, um, but the letters are very nice and um, I did not want the black to go from word to word stretching, so um, so that's how it looks on my back. I kind of try to finish the, each word uh, separately uh, and cut off my thread, so um, so it doesn't shine through, so to speak. And it's I love it. It's very cute, um, and that's how much I've done um, since uh, last May. I've used for several of uh, homework uh, assignments of magical school um, and uh, just wanted to stitch. I want to move it to a uh, big, like a um, mini frames so I can stretch out on the whole thing. But uh, this is what it looks like so far. And there's lots more to go because I just started corner. I haven't even reached all the way to the top. And it's a lot of counting because it's not uh, exact the same uh, would be on the both sides or from each repeating pattern. It might not be exact same amount of stitches. stitches. So there's like mistakes that were um, meant to be left on as a original uh, stitch was done in 1837. So very eager to to start um, those 
like birds, animals, and squirrel with the very weird uh, tail. So that was in June started up next last year. Then I think we're in 2020. It's very exciting. Um, let's see. Uh, in the March of uh, 2020, I've um, decided to start participate in uh, freestyle because we had to do each item um, during that month. So we have some rules happening that is, uh, you know, to take nicer pictures and you have to post it um, in the Russian group. It's, um, let's see, I did not even write down by whom, but I'm stitching, oops, I'm stitching it on 32 count antique white um, Lugana uh, over two. So I started in April 2022 20, uh, and each month is a different and the project is called One Year of uh, Dragon's Life or something like that translates. Um, it's again from a Russian designer. And surprise, surprise, it would be dragons, right? So I'll show you, right now I have an accused app because I'm planning to work on that. So I'll show you what I've done so far. And I'm doing like in the groups of two. So we have uh, April, May, June, July, August and September. So September, I received um, I received the back stitching pattern uh, part because we had to uh, we had we were given a list of threads uh, numbers and um, we had to show that we're ready to stitch if we have them. Then she sends uh, like uh, without the back stitching uh, pattern and then when you take a picture showing that you've done that, then you get. Uh, it's a uh, backstitching pattern so all of that needs to be done within uh, that month of course we can purchase the patterns but if you want to do free then you have to do each month a um, new one so it's uh, it's a full stitching um, all empty spots are filled in with a few different colors of like a half stitch it depends but um, some have more back stitching than others um, but they're very cute they're with the theme and uh, it's very fun to stitch. I love it. And uh, my kids love it too. So I think that's what's important that uh, your offsprings enjoy what you're making, right? They might not appreciate like a, like that spoiled child that I have um, that's art, but uh, I'm hoping that later in their years, when they're much older, they'll love it and appreciate that and want to inherit that. Um, I know my daughter said she wants all my um, witches that I've stitched. I, th I think I've stitched three uh, model stitching uh, witches um, for the designer. So she's she's right away. I want those, but uh, she's still young. So that's the uh, dragons, dragon cell. So of course uh, next year is going to be also three more left. So that's going to move to the next year. Then uh, we're going to a couple more la big biggies left, really biggies. Um, let's see, when did I start? Which one first? Okay, um, then for the same design that I got a spoiled child from, I, um, I got this pattern. It uh, translates roughly uh, like King's Fair Tale. Um, and it's, it was painted actually, actually by Lithuanian painter slash composer uh, Chirlonis. And it was done in like 1908-1909 years. So this is what the pattern is gonna look like. So again, it's more, it, it has very specific scenery. It's um, more dreary kind of colors, except like a, this front. So, but it, very interesting things happening in there. Um, it's like a two kings holding, um, I think the, the theme was holding uh, like a world and uh, watching over it. Or something like that because there's it's sort of like a Tuscany seat to me at least looking but um, of course that's what I just printed but um, he has the this style the painter has uh, this kind of style of painting of his that uh, all kinds of um, like a fantasy I think he was trying to paint what he was hearing in the music so that's what he saw and um, this one I'm uh, stitching on again on an 18 
account Ada that I picked and I started uh, in this May, uh, not May, April, April 10th, that's, uh, that was, um, I think the painter's either death anniversary or birthday, can't remember. Anyway, it's something connected to him and I wanted to start on one of those days. I didn't want to wait, I think the other day was like sometime in the fall. I did not want to wait, so, ah, let's see, it's, it's not this one, it's the next one. Um, so the pattern is 300 by 225, so it's not humongous, but still has uh, quite a bit of stitching. So since April, I've done this much. As you can see, the whole thing, it's not going to be very huge, so it stops like somewhere here but you can kind of tell the scenery uh, there's like a castle here and uh, branches happening and uh, let's see where was it oh and uh, this thing is actually the crown of one of the kings i believe yes when you look uh, to the picture it's this part of the crown so i already reached that um an interesting scenery is like until I finish the whole area here because um, I'm doing like using colors and uh, just taking the one area and trying to fill in so until I finished that area I didn't know there was a bird because I was trying not to constantly stare at the print um, so there's some things like popping out that I've never noticed so it's interesting gonna be to stitch and I'm um, doing all those baps uh, full stitches so two over one full stitch on the 18 count so, don't know when it's going to be finished, but it will be done. Eventually, it will be done. So, that and one more um, bath left, which was actually restart. Uh, at first, I started in 2017 May, and it's also a gift uh, to um, my son. He liked the, the design, it's Heaven and Earth Designs. Um, pattern and uh, at first I was stitching it on uh, let's see 28 count of white opalescent linen two over one half stitch and uh, that's the whole piece was supposed to be right so this is how much uh, I had it done before and it's opalescent right fabric Plus, it has a pattern has a crinic where uh, like a middle of all those the white uh, uh, snowflakes are. So, plus it's a half stitch and it was tiny like that and uh, it was linen, so it's a little bit uneven. So it was giving me kind of headache because all those grids are like 10 by 10, right? Um, so there's like getting some areas like a confetti and stuff like that. So I was getting very tired and I talked to my son uh, and he said um, actually that he would prefer something that you can really see on the wall, not something like tiny you have to get close to. So I've decided to restart this year and we picked I picked a 16 count fabric this time <clears throat> and I restarted on the May, <laughs> I'm looking, you're going to laugh, May 22nd, 2020. <laughs> I swear I wasn't looking for specific days it's just I thought it was a good time to start I wanted to start on that day I did not even look that actually I had all kinds of projects started on the 22nd to at least it's not February right so this is oh, this is how much I've done this time I decided to start from the middle part so I found where the middle part was which was right around the, his eye and I again took a little area and I started to fill it in and really pattern keeper uh, got things going much much faster than uh, what I was teaching off the paper before that so uh, it really flew um, and once I was done with the, like a front I don't know what would you call it snout mouth don't know it also involves uh, some kinic in here um, and you can kind of tell already that there are whiskers in there, right? Uh, Heaven and Earth designs are all um, um, full colors. There's no blends in there. There's no backstitching in there. So it just 
you can make a crosses or you can make a half stitch whichever but uh, it's a plain and I'm doing it again of course on the 16 count two over one for stitching and this is where this the edge is and when you can compare so that's what it looks like um, he's becoming he's looking very realistic um, and um, once I got in the sky then of course it's much less confetti uh, so it kind of flew by much much quicker all the colors and again I'm just doing like area and then filling in and if need be I kind of uh, finish off the threads um, off to the side so when it need be so that's what it is and uh, it's gonna end somewhere probably like here I usually leave at least uh, three inches off to the side but that's what it looks like right now and according to program let's see how much I've stitched it oh where you are I had it I have 21.8 percent done and I'm still planning to stitch before the end of the year so um, at the end of the year we're gonna see how much of that um, I've done and how much I have left so very exciting um, very nice looking guy yeah fluffy so I think that was my very last whip that I have of any kind uh, to that involves threads so I'm um, hoping by the end of the year I'm gonna have only uh, 20 left so I think these were like 24 maybe or 25 whips so I'm hoping to finish some um, the the collections of course it's not gonna end but I have a huge plans for 21 which you're gonna see uh, towards uh, in a couple months towards the end of the year and let's see if I can upload this video and uh, if you stayed all the way to the end thank you I hope you enjoyed uh, watching all my whip parade um, next year would be way way more way more <laughs> at least in my plans um, so if you have any questions uh, don't hesitate to ask me uh, in the comments below um, thank you for those who subscribe to me thank you for those who just visited me or uh, click the like um, and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to give thumbs up so um, I'm hoping to see you in the next video uh, I'm gonna have to do this one all over again in Lithuanian language and uh, it if you want to tell me which one of these uh, you like the most or top three um, that would be also interesting to hear so until the next time this was Yurgita with Magic Pancrafts and I'm saying bye bye.